Besides his television work, he's a recording star, a Tony Award winner. He'll be appearing at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion in Los Angeles December 26th through December the 28th. And for me, most importantly, he loves electric trains as much as I do. I've been dying to have you in here for a year. Oh, Thanks I... for joining us. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Thanks. The whole nine yards. Can we play now? Yes, we okay, can. Okay, thank you. But, but first, <laughs> ex explain to the people yeah. the this, this system of train control which Lionel uh, Trains now has. Well, this is uh, Neil Young developed this, and he developed it for his handicapped son. Right. And it is a remote control so that if you have any trouble trying to figure this out, all you have to do is hand it to a nine-year-old, and they'll teach you how to do it in <laughs> yeah, five exactly. seconds. Yeah, exactly. In other words, rather than sitting at a transformer or control panel as you and I did as kids, right. they can now hold this little device in hold their it, hands. And you don't even need the aerial out. It works great. But it looks the so much better. With I agree, it. so we'll put them out. Put okay. the aerial out. Okay. And you can walk down the hall. You can go to another studio. You could get on an airplane and work your trains from wherever I, you are. I in know, the world. I know. Okay. Anyway, let's just fire them up and give the there folks one look. This little device here runs all the trains we have on the layout. So this is the F3 that I'm working. And there's that. And, and these are trains that Lionel has made now that have uh, the command control equipped so that they have chips inside the trains. And, and these chips respond, so the track is essentially full power. And the chip is deciding how much power that, that, that it's okay. taking from the track. Okay. And, it, and it also decides about the uh, horn and everything else. Also, you can turn the keypad into uh, a, a, a uh, talking machine, like, you know, it can give it other instructions. Like turning on the light, turning on the smoke, turning off the smoke, gotcha. turning the sounds on. And uh, it's just incredible. Like you say, give it to your nine-year-old and he'll figure it out, huh? Right. Oh, I hear the brakes squealing on the... Uh, if they, I don't also, know if, they... if, there's a, if there's an accident or something, all you do is hit halt and it stops everything. You hit the little triangle idiot button and it just stops it for Good. You. Let's, let's have peace and quiet here for a second. Tell me about your first trains, your first experience. Um, my, uh, do you want me to turn off the sound? It'll, it'll go by itself. Oh, it's okay, automatic. great, great. Automatic. This is even... Better than I imagined. My first experience. Oh, first, let me take off my jacket. I just wanted you to see my jacket. Oh, that line all right, right, all okay, right. There you right. go. Okay, thank you. Now, standards and practices, who are they? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my dad gave me my first set of Lionel trains when I was nine years old, and he brought them home basically for himself. We had a hardware store on the south side of Chicago on the corner of 67th mm -hmm. and Stony Island, which was Kitty Corner from High Park High School. Now, since then, I brought my boys back to Chicago to show them where I got all my trains, sure. which was a hardware store, like you said, your dad yeah, was My a, dad was with a hardware wholesale company that jobbed Lionel trains. And oftentimes, these hardware stores would carry Lionel trains. That's right. So we'd go in there, and he bought me a set of Lionel trains, basically for himself. Yeah. And he brought it home, and we started playing with it. Well, it became my entire life. He gave me a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood. Same here, a ping pong table that yes, we didn't use anymore. Exactly. 5 by 9. That's right, 5 by 9. <sighs> So, <laughs> wide, wide radius turns. Absolutely. Yeah. So we had this four by eight sheet of plywood. He put me, uh, he he built me two horses, you know, with little sure. trains underneath. Sure. So I put my trains and stuff yeah. under there, and I lived under my train. Oh, table. me too, with the wires. Oh, huh? I loved it. Yeah. I just loved it. Remember wiring up the switches so they lit up, you know, oh, and, and, and the Lionel, signals. And Lionel switches were all um, as they are today. They they are complete non derailing switches. Yeah, automatic so as switches. A kid, you couldn't mess up. Did you ever want American Flyer trains? Never. No, me neither. Now, Never. I had a good friend, Bob, who had American Flyer trains, and we'd go to his house at Christmas and run his American Flyer trains. Right. And they were okay. Yeah. You know, the two-rail track was nice. Yeah. But there was something about the bigger, heavier Lionel equipment that I liked a lot. Yeah, and, and today, you know, I have you ever been to New York, Pennsylvania for the York train? No, I haven't, no. Oh, you have got to go, Tom. It is the greatest thing in the world. I was at the Red Caboose, which I heard you were in one day, yes. and they blew some dust off some old boxes for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the Red Caboose, and a guy... Uh, named Mitch Weiner comes up to me and he says, excuse me, I recognize you. Are you aware of what's going on with trains yeah. today? And I said, no, what are you talking about? And I just kind of pulled him off my shelf to start playing. He tells me about York. He tells me about all this new technology, all this computer technology. He mm -hmm. says, you got to go down to New York, which is in York, Pennsylvania. It's a fairgrounds. There's seven huge buildings and 7,000 people come that are from, you know, nuclear scientists to, to garbage men. Yep. And, and they all love electric trains. Oh, men and women, kids, and, and the buildings are wall-to-wall -wall trains. And I'm told that you can buy in there, or, or you can see in there if not I'm buy. I'm so excited talking about these trains. Almost, <laughs> almost, almost every train that's ever been made by any manufacturer could, uh, uh, be, could, could be seen at York, Pennsylvania. Yes, yes, but it really, the particular show I'm talking about, the heart of it is Lionel. I understand. It, it is that hobby that they're 
uh, you know, that they're into. What were your favorite accessories? What, what did you like the most as a kid? The, the uh, 135, is it the 135 gatehouse, right? The gateman, the 135 gateman, where the train comes around, the little guy pops out of the house waves, with the lantern. Waves the lantern, yeah. yeah. Which everybody today will go, but you know, it's not an actual O-gauge uh, scale. And I go, please, get out of my house. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, my favorite, was, and to this day, is anything that loads coal. Don't ask oh, me why, but yeah. I love coal loaders. Yes. That, well, they're great. And all the gadgets that work, and we're setting up our whole layout so you can come over, the kids can come over and push buttons and all the all the. You've got video work. of your room at home with your trains in it. Yes, I did. Yeah. My buddy Rich Roman, who put my layout together for me, we, we are Oh, using... but now wait, a true train guy doesn't have somebody else well, put the layout together I'll, for I'll him. give you that. I'm, I'm kind okay. of a, I'm, I'm. I know you're busy. I'm a cheater. Yeah. I'm a cheater, but I don't care, Tom. I don't care. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and you have problems, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, fine. Yeah. So this is the way I deal with it. I got this wonderful guy named Rich Roman who's in New Jersey to do my layout for me. And not, not the decoration. The decoration only my family does. Okay. But he, the wiring is so sophisticated with these computer chips and everything because we're not using Lionel stuff uh, for track. We use Gargraves and we have these computer chips. No, switches. no, no. A real Lionel fan uses only Lionel track. He let, doesn't. Let me ask those of you at home. Okay. <laughs> Please call this number and tell me who is using Gargrave's track also. <laughs> anyway, and let's run the video of, 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 yeah, let me uh, show of you. Manny's can I, layout. Can I describe Please. some okay. stuff? Okay, sure. Tell so us what we're we, this is going up into my train room, which is an old barn that I have. And, and none of oh, the decoration man. is up yet. It's all just raw track okay. and electronics Bench that we're getting work. set. Okay. So this is the whole... Uh, now that, my son made that. If we can just stop for a second. My son made that, and that's a little mountain that's going over the layout. Now go back to the layout. You can keep rolling now. He made this clay thing so we could sort of plan it oh, out. Oh, sure, sure. And what's going to happen is there'll be a big mountain there with a ski slope and rock climbing. My son's into rock climbing. Then that whole rail yard right there right. will have trestles in it. So okay. the entire, all the lumber will go, and it'll all be trestles going into rocks or ravine. And are those, are those skylights we see in the ceiling? Um, those, uh, yeah, that is one skylight in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And this is our control board that Rich uh, oh, man, did the all the wiring for. His, sure, he, but his sure. wiring is, you could eat off it. Look at that. Look at that. Is that television? That is the, those are the SC1s that are the remote controls now. And they operate the switches. They operate your accessories. Then we're using telephone uh, machinery to uh, hook everything else up. There's a coal loader on the, on the left. Gotcha, gotcha. You, now, this is the train my dad gave me well, when I was sure, nine years sure. old. Sure, it, It's the 2018 Hudson. I also have the 637, and they work brilliantly from the time I was nine. Do you think it's going fast enough? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, your track work is super. The track. Now, is, is this just going to run just this, my, my, my father's, why is it a picture of me? Isn't it just going to be my father's train running for the next hour? <laughs> I you, talked to Roddy. You, you, he said it was fine. You are so sick. <laughs> <laughs> and did you, did you wait every year for the catalogs at Christmas oh, time? Oh, God, God. I live for the catalogs. I, I brought a couple of my catalogs uh, to show from 1958 and 59. Good years. Good I years. lived in those. I lived with those catalogs. Every night I went to bed with them. When I travel, I'm on planes a lot. The only thing I take is Classic Toy Train Magazine and mm -hmm. my Lionel catalogs. If I'm on a movie... And, and we go over, and we go into overages. I use every day of overages to buy another train. And <laughs> you I just, pray. look, you this, pray. Is, this is from 58, 58 to 59. Right? This is 58, and then the other one's 59, which is the accessory catalog. And then I guess my biggest dream came true was when uh, the guys at Lionel, because I put Lionel on Chicago Hope. I, I know wanted, you did. I wanted to pay him back. For, they gave me my childhood. I'm not kidding. Of course they did. You, uh, so, someone called me from the show and asked me, what is it with you and Tom? Why? Why? I can't understand it. And I was trying to think why. And no, I'm... no, people who don't know can never understand. But for the millions who, who, who do understand, they know why we're infected with this little disease. Well, it's called... like my blankie. It's like if you had your yeah. old stuffed dog yeah. that your mom fixed a million times and put it together. And, and, and it's, my, it's the world that I could control. And living under that board with the wires, I just loved it. And even though I don't have time to do the wires, I get a little rolling thing, and I and just, just go roll underneath my Look train. at the wires, huh? I love it. You know what I love about, about operating the model railroad empire? It, you say control. Yeah. The coupling, the uncoupling. Oh. You know, I used to make up trains when I was a kid, you know, but, yes. uh, you know, put freight cars in order yeah. and uncouple them, un unhook them here, hook yeah. them there. I love that. And now the, the chips and these new uh, rail sounds, too, that they have, when you uncouple, 
the chip makes the uncoupling sound. It blows a ka-chunk <laughs> and does it all. We are with Mandy Patinkin. Uh, more on Mandy and his departure from Chicago Hope, his appearance at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, and you on the toll-free at 800-952-2788. We'll be right back. They're going to be commercials? We're not just talking no, about No, we're going to have commercials. Now. We'll be right back. After. <laughs> Otherwise, the, hey, no commercials. We don't buy any tickets. All right, all back right, after all this right. break. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a wild Christmas. 